wow, it's a personal thing, really, to be honest. Um, even, you know, the film board is a wonderful institution and uh, it might be the best job in some ways that I will ever have as far as a creative organization trying to do things that matter. Um, however, uh, the film board is still the film board in some ways and is very much in the position, in the period of transition and trying to figure out its connection to an o its audience. And the film board is still a place of wonderful production of linear films. So I was in some respects, a piece of the larger puzzle. I wasn't necessarily responsible for the whole institution. And the same thing at CBC, where all of my positions were the digital guy attached to radio, the digital guy attached to television. The newspaper business is undergoing such a remarkable transformation now that Post Media was willing to put a digital guy in charge of everything, the print side, the digital side, even with revenue and business responsibilities. So the challenges there are immense, but I think the commitment and the willingness to understand that the future of the newspaper or print business is likely to rest in the digital world, the, the willingness to admit that and then put someone wh who is essentially a digital person in charge of everything was very enticing to me uh, on a professional level. So I'm excited, yeah, to kind of see what I can do there. Um, you know, the film board, the work I did at the film board, I would like to believe that I can execute very similar projects that would engage audiences on the same level in the newspaper. The funding models are different. Um, the film board is a wonderful cultural institution that's supported by public funding, so it has a privilege in some ways. Uh, in the newspaper business, it's a business, and there's revenue considerations to attach, and we need to always be thinking about that. So the latitude to experiment is, is different there. And that's been a challenge, uh, but not one that I don't think we can overcome. You know, the, the business itself and the role of the reporters and editors in the newsroom needs to evolve and change. And as a leader, I need to help them see the future and I need to provide them with the support they need to get there. And I think the newspaper business uh, and the scale of it, um, that might take uh, some different effort than it would at, say, a more creative institution like the film board. So while, while the people are different and the business is different, I do think, though, that the goals of the audience and engaging the audience and building the relationship with the audience are almost exactly the same. And for me, as a programmer and a person who makes decisions about how best to engage the audience, uh, I'm confident that I'll be able to knock them out of the park at the newspaper business as well, I hope, yeah. I like to try new things and uh, not for the sake of change necessarily or for, uh, for the need to kind of prove the past wrong. I'm, I'm the kind of person that likes to just naturally see how things can be improved. Um, so I think I always go there uh, sort of by luck or by chance in some ways. I'm, I'm looking for ways to make improvements. And because of that, I think I fall into innovation sometimes without actually strategically necessarily trying to innovate. So, um, so what that means is most of my innovation comes in incremental steps and that I will be interested in exploring a particular piece of media, how video might impact, uh, say, a mouse click or how audio can impact a still image or how text moving on the screen and controlled by someone uh, someone's fingertip on a tablet might change their experience. So I am a firm believer that innovation can happen incrementally. That doesn't mean that uh, I don't think you can innovate on a grand scale and come up with the next Facebook or anything like that. I'm just saying on a personal level, I think I've sort of managed to get comfortable with the idea that uh, innovation happens over time and that I'm willing to kind of allow it to happen and then to, to make sure I'm uh, ready to capitalize on whatever luck comes my way. And, and to recognize when something actually is innovative and not just change for change's sake.